Okay, so your Billy Bob is after a couple of months. I finally have him fully up and running. He's totally restored. Um, I didn't film a ton of the restoration because I really wanted to get this guy done, but I'll, I'll give you guys a brief overview of what all I did to this guy. So as I discussed in the last video, took him apart, got him into basically the smallest components I could get him into, cleaned him off with degreaser and sandpaper. And then of course, after that, I reassembled him and there were a couple pieces, that, as I mentioned, that I needed uh, to either be fixed or replaced. So I'll go over a couple pieces. So the first piece that I'll mention is this forearm right here. So the, the original forearm on this character was all scraped up. Um, you had uh, these holes right here were stripped out. You also had these that were stripped out. There was really, this piece really needed to be replaced. Um, and so we did that. And then as you can see up here, this is a new upper arm. Now, um, I didn't actually replace that much of him. Um, it, it's not, I didn't replace, for example, this cylinder or anything. It's just this uh, aluminum piece here that starts at about here and, and it has this long bar. So it was this piece and it was this piece. These are actually the original uh, bushing blocks. Uh, same here. And uh, as you can see, I had mentioned in the other video that uh, it didn't look like I would need to replace any of the Fabco cylinders. And while that was true um, in terms of functionality, uh, the cylinders for the arm raise and the arm twist, uh, the uh, spherical bearing um, in the bottom here, uh, the how, how it's pressed into here, um, that was extremely messed up. And unfortunately, I can't just buy a new backing because this was actually a custom this uh, spherical bearing uh, mounting here is actually a custom thing that they did for Creative Engineering. Nobody else got cylinders like that. You can't get just that back from Fabco, I've tried. Um, so I had to buy an entirely new cylinder. So this is a brand new cylinder. Um, you can see, you can kind of tell that uh, in comparison to the other cylinders which sat outside in the sun. But uh, yeah, um, tried to replace as little as possible you know, only when I had to. So, um, yeah, we had to replace that cylinder. Of course, original um, strum cylinder, original wrist cylinder. Um, as you can see down here, I had to replace this entire um, body turn mechanism because he didn't have any of this whenever I got him. So this bar rod, the cylinders, of course, this bar up here. And then, yeah, original guitar mech had this repaired, new bushing blocks, or new bearing blocks, and then new cylinder for the guitar rays. Had to do that because it was bent, but actually the cylinder did work. Um, so, yeah, uh, of course, original uh, guitar slide cylinder. Coming around back here, of course, you can see the hose management I've done on this guy. Then we've got um, the two head turn cylinders, the head tilt cylinders. These are all original. As stated before, these were totally fine. I could do that. I put some new paint on this uh, steel bar here to protect it from future rust. But yeah, everything back here is really uh, original. Coming around to the front, you guys can see I didn't really mention his head neck. Okay, so I think if you guys remember, right here, these two bars that attach to the mouth lever were broken off. And I thought, well, head back might have to be replaced, but luckily it didn't. So you can see I had a friend reweld those and he did a great job. And uh, yeah, so we didn't have to replace this head neck. This is the original head neck. And I think that's awesome. Uh, as you can see here, the eyelids, they are unpainted as of current. That That is the, I believe, maybe one or two uh, of the last things that I need to do for this character before I send it out. And up here we can see two original eyelid cylinders. This is a new mouth cylinder. Um, not necessarily new, new old stock that's rebuilt and works perfectly fine than the original head up cylinder. So yeah, this guy is really, I would say about 80 or 90% original because, uh, you know, I really didn't have to replace that much. A lot of the parts were repairable. I'll just go over again, main pieces that I replaced, forearm, upper arm, these two cylinders, I got new bearing blocks. Um, this is, of course, the original guitar mech. And then what else was there that I replaced? There was, of course, this cylinder, this mouth cylinder, and all the fasteners in the character, body twist, 
Um, but yeah, overall, this guy is, is really original. Um, I think the owner's really going to love this character. Um, fully working, no problems. This character's practically brand new. And yeah, this was an educational project. It was it was really fun, but for the most part, really, really educational. I learned that uh, these characters are really built to be taken apart, built to be uh, repaired. I mean, you know, as you guys can see, even things that looked like they weren't repairable, like the cylinders and and even parts of the of the main frame, you know, I could just easily fix. And uh, yeah, so uh, it was really educational. And I think this is going to help me in the future with, you know, other character restaurants that I do. I, I think this is like worst case scenario. So I think I've mastered the how to restore the worst character. So now I think restorations will be pretty easy now. Yeah, just to start, you know, I, I really wasn't sure. Whenever I first got this character, I didn't know if it was going to be even repairable or, or even worth the money to repair. But uh, luckily it was. So, um, so yeah. Show you guys some before and after photos just to show you what a huge difference this restoration has done. Also, I, I guess I'll mention about hose management. Um, I just take pictures of characters that I know uh, have not had their hoses messed with. Like, for example, one of my Billy Bobs. Uh, I just took pictures for reference to see where all the hoses are supposed to go. And then I actually got this, this rubber. Now, this rubber, uh, you put this in places where it's going to impact the metal because you don't want the hoses to get cut. You want this to get cut and act as a protector. So uh, I got that on all these airlines and organized them the, the same way as my other Billy Bob and organized the hoses really nicely. So, so yeah, there's not going to be any issues of, of hoses getting caught and things like that. Um, yeah, so, so just... But, and I, I definitely do not recommend um, entirely rehosing a character unless it's absolutely necessary. Uh, I've never seen a character other than this character that actually needed to be rehosed because this character had no hoses. But um, in most cases, you, you shouldn't rehose the character because the people at Creative Engineering already set it up to the best position where the hoses won't hit anything. And I just wouldn't mess with that. There's really no point. The hose lasts a long time. Unless you're like springing leaks all the time, then maybe. But uh, I've, I've really, this is like the only case I've ever seen where I need to replace the hose. So yeah, um, I'll show you guys some before and after photos of this guy just to show you what a huge difference it's made. Hello. 